so today I just wanted to kind of go through my house and show you all of my Christmas decorations and how I decided to decorate everything. And yeah, let's just go on and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with this since this is at my front door. Um, there is a really pretty Christmassy festive tea. Um, which is for our last name and it's just got like green sparkly polka dots and white polka dots and it's just really cute my mom bought me this um, a few months back and it's just super cute and I wasn't really sure what to do with it or where to hang it so right now it's just hanging on my front door the next thing I have is this I guess you can call this an advent calendar. I have had this thing for years, and I actually think I bought this at Dollar Tree years ago. Yes, Dollar Tree for a dollar, and it's the, one of the best dollars I've ever spent. Um, my kids always enjoy this. I like it every year, um, and actually we need to move this to the third, because today's December 3rd, but anyway, um, it's super cute. I had no clue where to hang this. There wasn't any good spot in my house to hang this, so for right now, it's just hanging on my refrigerator. The next thing that I have is this miniature Christmas tree, and it's lit up at the bottom, and it plugs in, and it's just sitting on my island right now, and I just put a few ornaments on it. Like, I'm not very good at decorating at all, and I had no idea where to put this either. And I kind of thought about putting it on my front porch, but I don't think this one was really meant for the outdoors. So right now it's just sitting on my island. And I also have a, I think it's a pine tree candle. I actually got this candle holder from Bath and Body Works. And it's like a snowman. It's super cute. There's not a Bath and Body Works candle in here right now. It's just a Better Homes and Gardens candle in the fresh cut Fraser. So it smells like a Christmas tree. And if you want a candle that smells like a Christmas tree and you don't want to have to spend a lot of money on it, get the fresh cut Fraser from Walmart. This candle cost me $4, I think. And it's about half gone. I may have to get another one, but it's only because I have lit it a ton. Um, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't burn as quick as the Bath and Body Works. And it's not going to smell quite as strong as Bath and Body Works candles, but this is one of the better Christmas scents um, that they sell at Walmart. So Better Homes and Gardens Fresh Cut Fraser. It really does smell at my whole house. It smells like a Christmas tree. It smells really good. Then I just have a Let It Snow um, hand towel hanging on my stove right here. I actually have some pot holders that match it, but I don't have them out right now because, again, I didn't know what to do with them. Also, I have these cute little snowman figurines. This is just like a regular just figurine. This is actually a salt and pepper shaker, um, but I'm not utilizing it as a salt and pepper shaker. I just decided to kind of set them right there on my counter because they're cute. And not a Christmas decoration, but I do have my wax melt warmer um, that sits in my kitchen all the time, and I have a um, Christmassy scent going constantly. And right now, the different ones that I've been using are um, this one isn't really focusing but it's uh, pine wax cubes and it smells like a Christmas tree and leftover from um, just my fall collection was farm apple pumpkin but it really goes perfectly fine all the way into Christmas it smells super good I have the better homes and gardens spiced apple pie and it's a mixture of apple pie and cloves and it smells super good and then I have a scentsy um, sticky cinnamon bun which also smells really good and every one of these I'm running out of so I've got to go back and get some more and I'm probably just gonna get some more of the Christmas tree scented okay one of my favorite things is my kitchen table these are some placemats my mom got for me a long time ago and it's probably one of my favorite Christmas decorations ever I don't know why but these placemats just make the whole room feel cozy and it feels Christmassy and I just love it. Like it is amazing what just placemats will do to a room. My room will be so plain and boring every Christmas and once I put these out they're just super cute. And it says live, laugh, love. So I've got all the placemats. And then I had this little deal right here for years. Don't really know. Um, or no, did I get this from my husband's aunt? I think I got this from my husband's aunt. And I had no idea what I was going to do with this. I just got it because she was giving it away. And I figured, hey, I might could do something with it eventually. So I put some like kind of shiny red and green garland in there. I took a candle, again, my mother gave me. Kind of looks like a candy cane. And I just put it in the middle. I have lit it before. 
I lit it last year. Um, doesn't really have a smell, but it's super cute. And so I just kind of created my own centerpiece. Like I said, I'm not really good at decorating, but I had to put something in the center of the table and I thought it came out perfectly cute. And of course, there is my Christmas tree. Um, it's harder to see on camera at night, um, but during the daytime, it doesn't give it justice. I usually leave the lights on it constantly. So I just went with the silver and gold and red theme, and so it gave it kind of an elegant, shiny, sparkly look, and it's classy, you know, super cute. Normally, we put all of the ornaments that we have, and it's just like a mesh of a billion different kind of ornaments, and I decided to go a little bit more themed this year, so we just went with the red and gold and silver colors. And like I said, during the day, it really doesn't do it justice. You can't even see it very well. But my camera hasn't been doing too well at night with no natural lighting either. Okay, so then we have the fireplace. And this is one of my favorite areas in the house as well. And I have never had a mantle until now. And I'm so excited to have one. I can actually do stuff with it. And you'll probably hear me mention my mother a ton because every year she gets me something new that's a Christmas decoration because she knows how much of a fanatic I am. I love decorating for Christmas. So it's kind of been her tradition every year at Christmas time. She gives me a Christmas decoration as a gift and then I'm able to use it the next year. Um, this year she actually gave me a few things throughout the year so I've gotten a bigger collection but um, this first thing is this Christmas tree she actually handmade um, with just yarn and some beads and it's really cute and it's actually sitting on a candle holder but it's super cute and then I have these three, um, they're kind of clearish, whitish looking Christmas trees. And then there's three over here too. And believe it or not, these are actually meant for outside. They come with these stakes that go on the bottom of them and then you put them in the ground and they actually light up. And I think they even play Christmas songs. But um, these were old and we were missing some of the stakes. And so I decided to bring them in the house, you know, take the stakes off the bottom of them and just set them on the mantle. And I think they came out super cute. Then I have your traditional um, nativity scene, and it's super cute. My grandmother always used to put up a nativity scene, and I've never had one, but I got this one from someone who was giving it away as well, and so I thought it came out perfectly for my mantle. And then this is something my mom got me last year for Christmas, and it's a snowman that um, you just plug up and it lights up. And it's just so cute. It's one of my favorite things, like a little snowman lantern. It's one of my favorite things. And then I have the red and gold sparkly garland around the front of it, like I have on the table. And then I have four stockings hanging here. And then the bottom of the fireplace was so plain, and I really didn't have anything to put down here. And I didn't really want to go out and buy anything new, so I just said, what can I use? That, um, that I already have. So, um, this was actually a gold tree topper that I've used in past years, and it's super cute, but um, I have a silver tree topper now this year, of course my mom got for me, and I um, wanted to use it, and it's like really sparkly and shiny, so I decided just to put this on the corner by the fireplace, and then I have this Christmas pillow, um, with Santa Claus and reindeer and instead of putting it on my couch because my kids always destroy my couch I just decided to prop it up right there and then I have this old box It's kind of like a hat box and it just says fa la 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 all the way around and I took some green ornaments since I wasn't decorating my tree with green this year and a lot of them are real sparkly and I just um, filled up the box with those and I thought it came out pretty cute in my kids bathroom the only thing that I have Christmassy and this is our guest bathroom too so I really ought to have more in here but the only thing I have Christmassy is this again Christmassy wax melt warmer is the only thing I have in their bathroom um, but it's super cute and so I have of course a Christmas tree scent in there that's heating up and it just smells really good and I like it but again it's the only thing I have in this bathroom that's Christmassy so I really ought to have something else but I like that a lot and then in my bathroom, since my bathtub is much bigger than theirs, um, I'm able to decorate around it. Also, I have like a really big window sill. And so I just took some of that leftover red and green shiny garland and just kind of wrapped it around the back of the tub. Then I just have a little snowman um, sitting up in the window sill. So it just adds a little bit of touch of Christmas to um, our bathroom. 
So that's pretty much it. Um, I put up way more this year than I have in past years because this is the first Christmas that we will be spending in our new home. And so I, I really kind of wanted to go a little bit more all out. This is not nearly all out compared to what some people do, but for me it is because I usually put up way less than this. And so I really like the way everything came out. We do have a few decorations on the outside. We have this big white wreath made out of like wire or I really don't know what it's made out of but it's like this big huge white wreath that lights up and it's hanging on the side of our porch so we plug that up at night and then in our front yard we have these big three letters J-O-Y that spell out joy and um, they stick in the ground and they're kind of red and shiny and then right around the word joy we also have three wise men that um, we plug up at night as well and they light up. So that came out really cute too. Um, I can't really show you that though because I'm not gonna show my front yard. Um, or I may try to show it if I can at the end of this video, um, if I can kind of be discreet with it. But anyway, those are the decorations we have in our house. So nothing too much, it's nothing too fancy, but I really like the way that it came out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I would love to hear about some of your decorating ideas. I hope that this video gave you a couple of ideas for decorating. And yeah, I guess I will just talk to you guys later. Bye. I can kind of show you this wreath hanging on our front door. It doesn't really give away too much about my front of my house. Um, but this is a wreath my mom just made. And it's red and kind of a, almost a lime green. It's super pretty. She said it was super simple to make, but I'm so not good at crafts. But I really want to learn how to make this kind of a wreath. It's simple yet super cute. And if I could learn how to make one of these, I would make one for every season, every holiday. Um, but it's pretty big. I love the way it came out. And so it's hanging on my front door. And I guess I can go on and show you this since it really doesn't give away much about my yard either. But see, it's got the J-O-Y and then it's got three wise men that we put up. And again, during the daytime, it really doesn't do it justice because the wise men light up at night. And it's really, really cute. Um, just a simple decoration, but something that came out really cute. If I had tons and tons of money, I would probably buy enough Christmas lights to decorate the whole front of my house like Chevy Chase did in Christmas Vacation. I love Christmas lights on a house, but... Um, we just don't have that many lights, so, um, but I thought that was like a cute touch.